Hey guys, this is Craig at Area 419. I want to show you how to add a T-nut to a stock. Now, whether it's adding one to a Manners or a McMillan or something of that nature to add an Arcalock rail or adding one to a wooden stock. Let's say you bought a CZ457 MTR or a Tactical laminate stock. You need to add one. The first thing you're going to need is hardware. Uh, each one of our Arcalock rails comes with a few of these T-nuts and then the corresponding 1032 screws. So you're already going to have those with your rail. You need a hand drill and a quarter inch drill bit. A three quarter inch paddle bit or a Forstner bit is also really nice. It's just less common and I want to do this using common tools. And some optional tools. I like a large punch and a small hammer to help tap in the T-nuts into the stock once you create a counter sink for them. So let's install one. All right, so we're starting with Manners T4A. This is the same stock that we used when we, uh, we did the front action screw trimming. And you'll see it has, you can see through here, there are zero holes in the stock. Move the arc lock rail to the side so you can see. Totally smooth bottom. Nice thing about a Manners stock, um, and you can obviously measure and put a line on any other stock, is you have a nice center line running through here. So what I like to do, go ahead and get your arc lock rail on and centered. Center up that seam in the stock with the slot on the arc lock rail and I always like putting the first hole about one inch behind the front of the stock. You want to hold this steady, hold it straight, run at a high rate of speed. Sink a nice hole through the stock. Once you've got that done we're going to go ahead and flip the stock over. I leveled the other side before we started, but now that we're flipping over, I want to level again because I want this, I want this hole through the stock to be pretty square. So we're getting it pretty close to level in two directions. Just cinch it back down in our bench vise. Start here with the paddle bit. Be very careful with paddle bits. Like you'll see here, this one has a little bit of a rake into it, which is designed to help it pull down into wood. Paddle bits are typically meant for wood as opposed to fiberglass. So what I want to do is create just a little bit of a countersink. Most paddle bits like this one will be, will be self-guided. And I just need enough I just need enough of the countersink that the T-nut's gonna sit down in there. So now that we've got that done, I'm gonna clean out that hole. Our T-nut will sit down in. Nice snug fit. This is where my optional tool, the hammer and the large punch come in. That'll tap down in. Sit right inside the stop line. You'll see it's nice and flush. It's not going to rub your barrel. That's how we install a T-nut for an Arcalock rail. Now that we've got the T-nut installed, all there is left to do is take the provided 1032 screw, drop it in with an Allen key. We're going to go ahead and tighten it down. Nice and snug. And we've got a T-nut installed in a manor stock to hold a 14-inch arc lock rail. That's all it takes. Thanks, guys. This will work.